the trick to victory is to not trick yourself. Hello YouTube! This is Chris Maniac bringing you folks another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. And this battle is an RU match versus Godwin. And we have pretty fun Pokemon both sides of our field. I brought along my fur just for lols because who doesn't like fur? Fur is so cute! Anyways, looking at Godwin's team, it looks like he has a pretty threatening team with a lot of powerhouses, especially that Banette, because if he uses Banette properly, which he almost always does, is a guaranteed kill on my team, so I have to like play around with that Banette um, perfectly. And um, yeah, so my plan here is to basically set up rocks with my um, fer with my Pharaoh Seed and just uh, hit him as hard as possible and take his Pokemon out. This team is very balanced. My team doesn't have a specific strategy, it's only here because um, it has very good defensive synergy with my Firewater Grass core and everything. Anyway, so they off with Seymour, my um, my Spirit Tomb, because I was expecting him to lead off with some sort of special attacker, and here comes a special attacker, which is his Pyroar, and my um, my Spirit Tomb is a special wall, so I can just take his hits and retaliate back with a Fuse Ray or something just to troll him. But um, he goes for a Taunt, and that is... A very good move by Godwin, because now my spirit can only go for the foul play. And knowing I can't really do much to a Pyro or with foul play because they have really low attack, I switched out with my spirit too. But if I went for foul play right here, just stayed in, I would have done a lot to this Ami Palm. But talking about doing a lot, that doesn't do a lot actually, that Mag Punch. Mag Punch, I thought it would do way more than that because it's super effective. I know it's not stab, but it's still super effective against the freaking Ami Palm. But I thought, um, yeah, it didn't do much to that Ami Palm, and that was very disappointing. Because I bred my Magmar to be mixed, and um, with it not doing that much damage, it was um, kind of a waste breeding it to be mixed, uh, a mixed Magmar. Anyways, they go for a Thunderbolt on his, um, what's it called, Plowitzer, and it doesn't really do much because it probably is a Salt Fest. And I'm also, I'm also a Salt Fest too, so I can survive one attack from this Plowitzer and retaliate back with another Thunderbolt, bringing it down to like. Um, 30% HP, and that does a pretty good amount of, um, of damage to it, and I uh, does quite a bit of damage to it, and that is great, because now I can just bring in Mixly, my really cute ferret, and I, go, I can go for a knockoff, knocking out that Samus Aran. Samus Aran, <laughs> that's pretty funny, because Samus has like a big, like, uh, there's like a power suit, and with a cannon, and it's blue too, so that really matches that video game character. Anyways, he brings his own ferret, it's like it is actually a ditto, and I go for a knockoff, just knocking off his choice scarf, and right here, he goes for the trick, and he gets back his choice scarf basically. So now I have no choice scarf. And this trick is a very crucial um, play by Godwin. We thought it was funny at that point. Like it, it, we thought that it was like hilarious um, that um, his ferret got his um, choice scarf back essentially, and, and I lost mine instead of him instead of the other way. But we, me ha not having a choice scarf later on, it really, really matters. And anyway, he breaks out, but that I'm thrown out by a Willowist. So I don't want my fur to get well this. I bring in my Pharaoh Seed, and he switches it out again into his Pyro, which threatens me out. And there's still like so much switching here. If he had rocks up, or if I had rocks up, then that would be very great. That would be like uh, so much damage in both sides of the field. But since there's no rocks, we can just switch freely. Anyways, he goes for a taunt again. It's just a replay of earlier. But now I go for the foul play. My spirit team is just pissed off of being taunted now. And I get a crit with my foul play, which is very lucky. I deal like almost 50% to that Pyro. Anyways, I'm expecting some sort of like really hard hitting um, like special moves, so I bring in my Salt Vest Hitmonchan, and even with that Salt Vest, it does a lot of damage to Hitmonchan. Damn, that's probably because it's like Life Orb with, that's like, and it's like Modest and stuff, so it deals like the optimal amount of damage with a special attack. And anyways, go for a Mac Punch, he out, and he Mega Evolves into his Mega Manette, I'm expecting to outspeed this Mega Manette, because I am uh, Hitmonchan, which is... Actually, not even Jolly, never mind. This thing could potentially have speed me. But these, since these guys have Prankster, they don't really have that much speed EVs that much, so I, I cannot speed it. And oh, my Hitmonchan doesn't have a Salt Vest. Whoops! I have a figure of another battle. Because like I say, sometimes I put a Salt Vest in my Hitmonchan, but indeed, he did have Life Orb instead, and he knocks himself out with his own Life Orb. Anyways, he goes for a knockoff in my Ferrothorn, Fire Seed rather. And he knocks out my Rocky Helmet, but that is great, my Rocky Helmet did his job of dealing damage to an, an opposing Pokemon, and I've done a lot of damage to this um, Banette, and I'm trying to take it down without actually attacking it, because it can dust me bottom me and I don't want that to happen. Anyways, I um, go for Leech Seed, get my HP back, 
And next turn if he chooses to stay in, he, he has a dead uh, banan. Well, even more dead, because ghosts are already dead, duh. And he, he switches out right here, keeping as a potential KO fodder, or even as like a um, suicide attacker with his like, Destiny Bond. And in comes his annoying Ditto once again. Damn, I can't really touch this Ditto. Um, it's just like a really annoying thing for me to deal with, and he sets up his own stealth rocks right here. And um, I go for my own stealth rocks too, so right here we trade rocks. So Godwin's Ditto is doing a lot of work. It's actually it actually stole my favorite um, choice scarf basically, and set up rocks, which is a very good uh, which was very effective. Um, I used to do though. Anyways, his um, Bloody Mary, his Banette goes down, and great, I actually um, played around with that thing, and not one Pokemon died to Banette's shenanigans. Anyways, it comes Pyroar, and he threatens me out with an obvious Fire Blast. But, um, right here, I think I stay in, because, um, I was expecting him not to go for a Fire Blast, like, go for the Hyper Voice instead. But then again, I can't really switch out versus this Pyroar, because Pyroar is a powerhouse, because it has Life Orb and it has Max Special Attack and everything. So, I bring in Rob Fern, my Slender Puff, just to finish it off, and I put his stones to get to me, whatever. He goes for that Hyper Beam, just dealing as much damage as possible to me. But, um, he misses it, which is hilarious, that is great, because now, my Slurpuff is much more healthy, and I am looking like I'm going to lose, and, and I'm going to need as much hacks as possible to get back into this match, to get a chance to actually win. In comes Teamwork, and Teamwork mostly is going to knock me out too with his Iron Head, and I'm like, heck no, nah, I don't want to take a uh, Hustle Boosted Iron Head with my Slurpuff from that Durant, so I switch out into Seymour, my, um, my, uh, what's it called, Spirit Tomb. I'm not a physical wall, but I can develop this thing, and I'm hoping to survive a 2-hit KO, or, uh, or uh, him missing. That'd be nice if he misses, but he hits that right on the dot, and I'm hoping he, he's gonna miss his second Iron Head, because he has Hustle. I have a 20% chance of surviving this and retaliating back with the Willowless, but instead he just hits his um, Exorcer and down goes my Spirit Tomb. So that kind of sucks, but I stacked up my Spirit Tomb right here, and I can bring in my next Pokemon to um, Revenge KO it, and I'm hoping that he's gonna miss his Iron Head. That's making it my last hope of winning this battle, because this thing's gonna sweep me, but indeed he, he does miss his Iron Head, which is great, and because now my Star Buff is just gonna retaliate back with a Flamethrower, absolutely frying, incinerating that Durant, taking it down, and my Slurp Buff actually took out, like, what, two Pokemon, which is quite surprising. This is, this is a support Slurp Buff. It's not made to KO Pokemon, but I guess it does work surprisingly in this match. And then it becomes Cheerleader, and, it, like, a combination of Fake Out plus Return would probably knock me out, because that thing would deal a lot of damage. But maybe it's looking doubtful that he's gonna knock me out with, with a Return. But instead, he goes for a U-turn, expecting me to switch out or something. He could have knocked me out, or actually dealt a lot of damage to me, with his, um, with a return, but I guess he just chooses to um, get out of here in case that I survive the return and retaliate back at the move that would knock him out. In comes his annoying Ditto. He turns right into my Slurpuff, and my Slurpuff is like only one Slurpuff could survive, could exist in this battle. I am the real Slurpuff in the hood, in the Pokemon Battle Stadium, and I hit him with a flamethrower and just knock him out, but I could knock him out in the next turn with another flamethrower. He goes for a wish right here. Um, and uh, that is great, I, that is fine with me, because I can just knock his uh, Slurpuff out with a Draining Kiss and getting as much HP back as possible. So my Slurpuff is going to be pretty healthy, surprisingly, considering that I got a lot of damage earlier. And now the, his Amipom has less of a chance of knocking my Slurpuff out. And I think Slurpuff is my last hope for this battle, because um, I think it's my last or second last Pokemon. In comes his Amipom once again, his cheerleader. He goes for that fake out um, attack combination. And I'm hoping to survive his return and deal damage to it because he has a wish up now from his dead ditto. And my only hope for winning this battle is to get a crit or a burn on this thing or something because my last Pokemon is my Furret without a choice scarf. If I had my choice scarf, I would have been able to knock this, um, I would have been able to uh, double edge for the win. But in, I get a flamethrower off, but it's not even enough to take him out because I don't get a burn which is only a 10% chance, so I basically finished for this battle because he is gonna have an Amipom right here versus my Furret and my Furret, since he doesn't have a Choice Scarf, which was tricked earlier by um, Godwin's Ditto I lose this match, I can't outspeed this, um, this Amipom and I am basically done for with a plus one power of punch which is boosted by Technician and down goes my Furret No! Furret is so cute even though it's, it's KO animation um, it, 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 it still shows its unwavering cuteness. Anyways, folks, I hope you enjoyed this RU match versus Godwin. 
And yeah, hope you folks enjoyed this battle. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you folks next time!